Hey guys, what's up? Um, today, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys another card trick uh, called the Bitter Trick. So, yeah. Um, I like this card trick. It's pretty cool. So, uh, we're just going to shuffle up the deck, just like that. And I'll have you select a card. It um, doesn't matter what it is. Uh, say it's this one. Uh, I don't want to look at it, so there it is. And we're going to get it lost, actually, you know, I'll throw it in like this, um, we need to get it lost into the deck, so I'd say this is probably 20, 28, maybe 27 cards down, um, from the top, so, yeah, um, now we're just gonna cut up the deck, uh, I guess like that, <laughs> just shuffle it up now, and, you know, when you, when you're handling cards for a, for a little, for a, a little while, can't speak, but it doesn't matter, uh, when you've been handling cards for a little while, um, you still have to kind of make an estimate of where the spectator's card is. So, if I had to guess right now, I'd probably say it's in the more upper-ish region of the deck, um, like kind of the top half, basically, and I'd say it's maybe even... Maybe even these just just these five cards. So I'll just go ahead and show you these five cards. Now, if you see a card, which there's a pretty small chance you would, but if you do, I don't want you to tell me. Um, now I know you can't actually tell me, but I mean you get the you get the idea. So um, I'll just show you these five cards here. So we have the Queen of uh, Clubs. We have the uh, the Ten of Diamonds. We have the King of Hearts. We have the Six of Diamonds. And we have the Ace of Clubs. So, we'll just get to put that packet right on the top again. And uh, so I'm just going to ask you, did you see your card uh, in any one... Did you see your card in... How do I say this? <laughs> did you see your card in this pile? Okay, so you did. So, what I want you to do is think of that card, okay? So just think of that card. And I want you to imagine me taking it out, turning it face up, and putting it to this deck, okay? I just, just want you to imagine that. Now, what if I told you that it actually happened? Look, you can see your card is gone, and it's now, if, uh, if I can find it, there it is, in the middle of the deck, face up. So, that's the middle trick, guys. Hope you liked it, and stick around for the tutorial. Hey guys, hope you like the trick, and uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna teach it to you guys. So, here is the, here's the thing. So, it's impromptu, so you can have a shuffle deck, you can have the spectator shuffle, and yeah. So, I always find it good when, you know, the spectator knows that they can shuffle up the cards, so they can just trust you a bit more. It's just, it's good when that, that, that happens, so you can just gain the spectator's trust. This, it's just good. Anyway, so now you want to spread through the cards and have the spectator select one. Say they select this card. Um, normally, you don't want to. You don't want to take a look at it. You know, you the magician. But uh, we'll take a look at it. It's a two of spades. So, what you want to do is uh, you guys probably aren't familiar with this, but you actually want to control it third from the top. So you guys are probably going like, what? You know, <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, so this is how I like to do it. Um, uh, yeah. So how I like to do it is I spread through the cards. And, uh, I say, alright, so your card is probably about, like, 20, 20, mm, I don't know, 24 cards down. And while I'm saying that, I'm getting a break on these two cards above it. So you want to eyeball these kind of, these top two cards above their, their card. Leaving it outdrawed, by the way, so that way you know. Um, anyway, so then, as you're scoring up, you're gonna stick your finger in there, so you got a big break there. And then you push this in, and uh, I like to kind of convert that break to a pinky break. And then you can cut up the deck in some kind of way, I don't know, um, because now, um, there's a random card, a random card, and then there's a selected card, so that's how it's going to work, and now what you can do is when you shuffle, uh, you want to retain those top three cards by leaving a block or something like that, I don't know, um, and then you can do some false cuts, um, I did the false cut that I taught you guys in the, a few videos ago, in the performance video, which is pretty cool, but anyway, so... Now, at this point, you're going to take the top half, the upper, top half, upper half, whatever, and you're going to say, all right, so I think your card is in this half of the deck. And then you want to peel off five cards. You can peel off more if you want, but...
But uh, this is what I do. So when I peel, I'm peeling off, and when I reach five cards, I start to peel off the sixth one, and I say, you know what? No, I think we'll just stick with five. So that's it. Just kind of adds this little thing, like okay, there's no reason he picked five. It's just you know, he wanted to. So that's kind of that. So now you're gonna flip it up, and you're gonna put it on top of this face down packet. So now what you should what should be done is two cards random, their card, two cards random. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna peel off this card, and you want to bring it behind the deck, and then you're gonna peel off the next one. And I'll get to why you want to do that with every card in a second, because now when you peel off this one. You're actually going to grab, when you peel off their card, you're going to grab it behind. And then you're going to peel off the next one, covering it up. So now, you have their card like this. And these cards like this. Now, they think it's in here because you just showed it. And now they think it's in here. Then you can take this one and you can put it, oh, I, here, there's the bottom half of the deck. You probably want to keep that in eyesight. You don't want to bring it away. You just put that back there. And then, what I did in the performance, I said, alright, so can you imagine me, taking out your card, turning it face up, and putting it in this deck. Now, what if I told you I actually did that? Then um, I revealed. But you guys could do a number of different things. There's a number of possibilities that you can do. Um, and you're already done with the trick. It's all performance from here. Um, make sure you don't lose the card in the spread like how I always do. <coughs> but yeah, so... Yeah, um, again, I guess we'll uh, go over the whole... Uh, Biddle card thing, so if I just get this in here, alright, so this is the whole, this is the main part of the trick, you want to make sure you do this good, so you grab this, you put it behind, grab it again, put it behind, grab it again, put it behind, and I like to kind of like leave a break there, so it's, then I pinch it, so you want to, you want to have your fingers kind of extend past the, the, the thing in the biddle grip, which is these three fingers and the thumb, you leave it there, and then you kind of use this card for cover so they don't see that it's gone now. And then you place that down, put that in there, and you're done. So, that's the trick. That's the Biddle trick, guys. I hope you liked it. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, stay, stay tuned for more videos. And uh, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, uh, do whatever you want. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I'm going to